Hello and welcome to the new module and we're going to move on into the next topic uh, for this course and that is the review of related literature. And there's a few of you who I've met with and we've worked through your topic, working to refine it and make it a question that you can research in your class. And yes, we are going, we're not just doing the proposal, uh, we're actually going to go through and do the whole thing. So if you haven't met with me yet and had questions about that, I hope that answered it. So we're going to choose a question that is actually something you can do um, in your classroom or your school or whatever. After that topic has been chosen, then it's time to write the review of literature. And the review of literature looks at what's been published so far, what's been done already on the topic that I'm want to explore in my question. It might be collaboration, it might be motivation, it might be small group study, it might be um, peer tutors, it might be uh, English language learners, could be engagement, but probably won't be because I probably won't let, won't let you study engagement because it's just really hard to measure. There's, you know, a wide array of topics that you may need to look for literature to support and to show a reason for your research. And that's really what the literature review is for. It's going to lay the foundation. Here's what's out there. Here's the theory that's behind what I'm exploring. Here's what's been done. Here's the hole or the gap that my question fits in. Here's the reason, here's the need for what I want to do for my question. And then you'll work your way down and at the end, the very end of the literature review will be your statement of purpose. So here's the reason that I'm doing this. And then here's my question that I'm going to explore. And so then after you've written your review of literature, you've got your questions, then we'll move into the design. How are you going to do it? Who's going to be part of it? How long is it going to take? What are your directions? All that stuff. The specifics of your personal design. That's not what you're going to focus on right now. During the next two weeks, you're going to focus on that supporting literature. And the literature needs to come from, preferably, peer-reviewed journals or published books. You may use a, a trade journal, which or I sometimes call it a practitioner's journal, as long as that's not the bulk of your resources. You may use websites, but they should not be the bulk of your resources. We want to use good, sound literature for our paper, just like if you were assigning a project of some kind to your own students, you would want them to use good, sound, proven information in their projects as well. So during this first week, and I've actually have the module split into two weeks, but you can just do the module all in one week or however you want to do that. I'm, I'm opening it all up because uh, I find, or my personal experience is that the literature review is the most, I say time consuming. It, for me, it was one of the hardest things to do just because it's like, okay, is that enough? Is that not enough? And I'm going to let you read the textbook and that gives you really good guidelines on you know, how to know if you have enough information or you know where to find information and, and like building the literature review. There's also a page in this module of different resources to kind of help you see what a good literature review has in it, how to structure it. There's some examples and that kind of stuff. All done by people at different colleges and universities, writing centers and that kind of thing. Um, again, why reinvent the wheel? But it's all stuff that I've looked at that follows 
good practice. So we're going to use that, use those resources to write your literature review. And then what you're going to do in, in two weeks is you'll submit that to me. And I'm going to read through them, um, make edits, all that. Um, while I'm doing that piece, you're going to start on your methods. And then I will give you back your literature review so that you can add those methods to it. And just we're going to run that paper in a continuous cycle. All right. Um, we'll, you'll save doing the corrections to the literature review until the end. When I give it back to you, you know, you'll add it in, but you won't need to go back and do all the corrections to it before you submit your methods. Uh, we'll talk about that later. Right now, just concentrate on doing the literature review. There's a, a, a post-test in this module for what you've learned so far. There's a discussion that I'd like you to carry on with your group. And there's resources about you know what to read the textbook, the videos and resources that go along with the book, some extra resources that I've supplied. Um, it says to complete challenge number two. Challenge number two is to submit your research question. Those of you, I'm making this on Monday the 14th. Those of you who don't meet with me until the weekend, I'm going to recommend this so that you can kind of get started. Looking for literature is go in and look and kind of decide, even if it's not the specific question, you'll at least know, like, choose on the broad idea, whether it be collaboration, um, English language learners, motivation, whatever, the big idea and, and start finding resources and, and literature for, for that topic. Or maybe you've got a good question and I'm still going through questions. It's, um, I want to give, I really want to consider them so it's taking a little longer than it probably needs to. But I'll get, I'll start, I'll keep giving feedback to you on those. And then if you see that other people in your group have um, done things with me, you'll see I usually write in blue and there's questions there, kind of see what their questions are like. You kind of want to refine those, go ahead. Or if you want to change your date back sooner, if you can, if time works that way, then we can do that. It's up to you, but just know that um, those of you who are not till this next weekend meeting with me personally are still going to need to start moving forward, finding literature and that kind of stuff as well. Um, again, this, I'm still working out the kinks in the schedule, and this is one of those, those kinks in the road that's like, hmm, I'm going to have to rework that for the spring when we do this again. But we'll, we'll work through this time, not a problem. If we get to the point where we need to, uh, I might extend it for those of you who meet me later, but we'll talk about that one-on-one. -on -one. All right, but right now just remember, literature review, looking for literature. There is a page in here called the University Library. What that is, it's a tour of resources and places and uh, how to use the databases in the library here at Pitt because that's a really valuable resource for you when you're doing this project. There's also a page called Researching and Referencing and that shows you how to use Google Scholar to look for literature and then also how to use a program called Mendeley and if I have time, the library has a new bibliography a citation manager that they are making available, and I haven't learned how to use it yet. I do know how to use Mendeley. And those are some resources that can help make creating your bibliography so much easier. So check those out as well. So this first week is really in the library, finding research, and then there's also challenge number three. Challenge number three is an annotated bibliography. And you have to find 10 different resources that you, that you could use in your paper. That's not the only resources, but we're a good start. So this first week, by next Monday, the 21st, I want you to have those 10 resources. And then, there, then it moves on into actually writing the literature review and putting all your information together and writing it up. And so the final assignment is actually writing your review. So if you have questions, let me know. But that's what's going on in this module. It's all open, ready for you to access. Talk to you soon.